Joining me now to discuss all of the excitement surrounding the opening day and in fact the season in general is Ron Colangelo, Vice President of Communications for the Tigers. Ron, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Happy opening day, Keenan. Great to have you back down on the field yes. for the first time in three years. That's right. The yeah. last couple of years we were up there uh, on the concourse. Now tell me what it means to the team to actually be able to have a packed house for opening day. It means everything because this is Detroit's biggest party and the tradition is to have a packed house. The, the team feels that vibe and that energy and that electricity. And manager A.J. Hinch has set the tone right out of spring training. He said, it's time to win. And I think the fans are going to feed off of that. The team feeds off of that. And there's a lot of optimism for this season. Right. And, of course, besides, you know, winning and adding some great new players as well, Javi Baez, you know, a, a big name uh, coming into town. We, we also have, you know, the standard bear, right, Miguel Cabrera. Tell us a little bit about what we're expecting um, from uh, – Cabrera this year and, of course, the big celebration this on tap. Well, when you talk about Miggy, it's about his leadership at this stage of his career, how he's inside that clubhouse and he's helping the younger players mm -hmm. and he's really set a nice tone and there's mm -hmm. a great culture in that clubhouse. And Miggy's going after 3,000 hits out there in left field, 2-9, 8-7, 13 more hits. So we'll celebrate another milestone with him and uh, with all the fans. So. Miggy means a lot, and the whole chemistry of the team is uh, is really something that's positive. Oh, absolutely, and it's just it's so fantastic to see him get the uh, 500 home runs and then now to, to get this next milestone, and hopefully he'll do that right here at Comerica. Uh, you know something? It's going to be a big celebration today. Jack White is performing an instrumental version of the national anthem. We'll have to wait for it, but you got a sneak peek. Tell us a little bit about what you heard. Well, the two teams yesterday, the White Sox and the Tigers, had uh, batting practice out here, and Jack White had a sound check. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, it was pretty incredible. All He's right. all instrumental. It's going to give you goosebumps, and there's going to be a roar when he finishes uh, his rendition of the national anthem today. All right. So looking forward to that. Ron Colangelo, a vice president of communications for the Tigers. Thank you so much, Ron. Really do appreciate it.